It is August 18th, 2018. Here is today's daily vlog. I hope you enjoy. There is the cutest little baby here today. So I'm gonna have to ask her mom if I can put her in my vlog because she's too cute to miss. Comes after setting Battery up Battery on my well. backyard drill doesn't last long at all. Or my, not my drill, my fucking backup saw. Oh no. Yeah, oh no. Fucking sucks ass. What the hell is this? We I thought we got rid of this damn thing. <laughs> no, they just left it to go to Walmart. Oh. She didn't okay. want it to get stolen. Okay. I'm like, man, their they better not. baby is too cute. I know, it's adorable, huh? Uh-huh. She is adorable. Her little red hair, oh my gosh. Good eye. So cute. Does she have red hair? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. She's so cute. Okay, babe, what are we doing today? Liberty or death rally. Why you ask such? Uh, Don't lose your words. You still got a speech to do. What, why do you ask such? Turn on that brain. Non. Uh, why do you ask such elementary questions? Because these people want to know. Okay guys, so the bathrooms were locked, so I don't know if we're going to get them unlocked or not. Hopefully because everybody has to go potty. Okay, we're going. Okay, we're going. Yeah, we got one. More news, guys. There's Tad. Our officers are amazing. Our events go really well. We have a lot of respect for the SPD. These are raffles. That's where I will be. There is, I believe, Mike Shea. He's one of our speakers. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Can you unbuckle me, Lex? That is awesome. We are getting more people. Just about getting ready to start. Lots of little kids, which is awesome. Hello, my fellow Spokaneite Patriots. My name is Pat Howard, co-founder of Spokane Concealed Carry Group. I want to start off by thanking everyone who helped organize this event. Chrissy Mola, the founder of Spokane Concealed Carry. John Powell, CEO of AP3 Zone 8. Secondly, I want to thank our guest speakers for taking the time to be here with us today. Mike Fagan, Spokane City Councilman, District 1. Matt Shea, Washington State Representative, District 4. Robin Ball, owner of Sharpshooting Indoor Range, Bob McCaslin, Washington State Rep, District 4, Jenny Graham, Washington State Rep candidate, District 6, Matt Hawkins, U.S. Senate candidate, Larry Haskell, G.R. Mobley, author, radio show host, Jeff Stan, founder of Lightfoot Militia, and Randy Mace, CEO of the 63rd Lightfoot. Thirdly, all those who donated items to today's raffle, Katie Brown and her team at Defensive Reality, uh, Sharpshooting Indoor Range, all the others who wish to remain anonymous, we thank you. Thank you for supporting us. And all the proceeds of this raffle are going to go towards uh, future events every single day. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of you who are in attendance here today for you are America's true patriots, and you are freedom's last line of defense. We've got such an awesome lineup of speakers here today, and I think I speak for us all when I say I'm excited to hear their thoughts and words of wisdom on today's topic, which is the Initiative 1639. But before we get started into going through our guest speaker list, I'd like everyone to consider 
going and getting some raffle tickets. We've got awesome range day items. We've got some gear. We've got firearms training vouchers. Um, and we're going to be giving all those away. We're going to do a raffle in between speakers. So the speaker intermissions uh, will draw a name from the raffle and be giving away some great prizes here today. We also have a voter, uh, voter registration form. The first people who sign up to become a registered voter, if you're not yet already a registered voter, the first four people to sign up will get their name thrown into the raffle. Put your name on it. And we've got some Spokane Concealed Carry membership cards. If you want to join the uh, Spokane Concealed Carry group, that comes with uh, great business discounts, local business discounts. We got some shirts and coffee, all sorts of good stuff over there, so make sure you go check that out. For those of you who chose to open carry today, I'd ask that you make sure your rifles are in ready condition too. Please be aware of the direction of your muscles at all times. If anyone should need to use the restrooms, these restrooms here were supposed to be open today. They're not. So about halfway down the field. They're open. They are now open. They are now. Well, we're good to go then. <laughs> Somebody brought the chop saw out. Huh? So, with all that behind us now, let's jump right into why we're all here. Initiative 1639. It's been thrown out. As of yesterday, in court, Judge threw it out. At the forefront of that fight in our home state was the Second Amendment Foundation, Alan Gottlieb, Robin Ball, and the NRA. These people and foundations deserve a big thank you. As most of you are all aware at this point, the Initiative 1639 has been declared ineligible to be included on this November ballot, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is a victory for freedom. We now have a chance to catch our breath a little bit. More importantly, we know what these people are after and how much they want to take. As a matter of fact, they wanted to change so much with this single initiative that they were forced to reduce the size of their font to a, to a non-legible size in order to fit it on the back of the initiative. This was the legal ground on which 1639 was able to be defeated. But with the courts, what the courts were not able to review was the moral standards in which this petition had gathered its signatures. It was sponsored by a Seattle-based organization called Allegiance for Gun Responsibility. They spent more than three million dollars on signature gathering for this initiative. This massive budget flew signature gatherers from other states and allowed its signature gatherers to lie and deceive the signers into thinking that they were signing $30 vehicle tax or no grocery tax. They went about it in a totally immoral and downright shameful way, doing whatever it took to gain as many signatures as possible with total disregard of Washington, the Washington State petition process and its laws. So in essence, they threw a handful of pickle slices at the wall and not a single one of them stuck. So as we celebrate today, let us also continue to educate others about this initiative, as well as prepare for the ruling to be appealed in court. We've won this battle, but the fight will be lifelong. Initiative 1639, it is titled Safe Schools, Safe Communities. But would passing this initiative really make our schools or our communities any safer? I think not. As we dive into this proposed change in legislation, we see its main intent is to restrict firearms sales and accessibility. It proposes enacting a safe storage law, requiring you to store your firearms how the state chooses. Increasing the minimum wage to buy a modern firearm from 18 to 21. Creating an enhanced background check and registration system for all firearms, essentially as well as imposing a state-mandated completion of firearms courses to be el eligible to purchase firearms. 
So here we have a few major propositions that infringe on not only our Second Amendment, but one of those propositions infringes on both the Second and Fourth Amendments. This should be alarming to not only firearms owners, but all law-abiding citizens. We have given in to restriction after restriction and have yet to see the outstanding results they claim these restrictive laws bring. I say enough is enough. We need to stop proposing more restrictions on firearms, which is only seeking to solve the problem at face value, and start diving in to the core of the problem. Initiative 1639 does not keep firearms out of the hands of criminals. It appears only to hinder those who abide by the law. So as per usual, it's nothing more than feel-good legislation. Make no mistake though, fellow Washingtonians, this is a direct attack on the only amendment that ensures our ability to preserve all other amendments. Do you support free speech? Do you support being against unreason uh, unreasonable searches and seizures? If you answer yes, then you better make sure that you are supporting your right to bear arms by voting no on Initiative 1639. That's all I've got for you here today. That was my thought. Good job, babe. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to pull a ticket out of the raffle box. We're going to give the first prize package away. And we are going to pull a ticket, basically, in between each guest speaker. So I'll pull this ticket here. We'll get a lucky winner, their wonderful prize. And we'll move on. That's our first Wake winner here today. Baby. Where are you at, Fred? There he is. You want to head right on over to Ashley at that table there? They'll hook you up with your prize, sir. Look at that. You just bought that, too. First up, our guest speaker list. Number one. Is that number one? We're going to have Mike Fagan. Let's Thanks go, Mike. Here, Mike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm tired of the media. And I'm There's tired of those on the left saying that God-given unalienable rights don't seem to matter. Let's hold them accountable. Let's call it out publicly. They're the ones that are defending tyranny. Yes, the law enforcement. Also, you're a veteran. Raise your hand. Woo! Let's uh, give them a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! I want to thank you especially for going overseas and shedding the blood and sweat and tears and then coming here today to continue to uphold your own. Amen. Amen. Items you can win. You got smokes? How many smokes do you have? There's more of them. I believe in our police force over here. I believe in our neighbors. I believe in you. The 
Yeah, it looks just like what you're looking at. So if you want it to, you Chrissy Bola, founder of Spokane Concealed Carry, is going to come and give us some of his thoughts. Yeah! Thank you for helping organize this event, Chris. Like that said, are you, do you think I hear me? You hear me now? Yes, you do. So, as Ted said, Uh, I want to thank you all for coming out for your support for our rights. Uh, we are here today to show our state our, to show the state our opposition to the COVID-19 system for the month. Which, by the way, as Tad mentioned at the beginning of the rally, it was ruled yesterday by a person who wanted to, uh, to not be in the front of our study that would not be in the balance on the end of With that said, the fight's not over here. Doug and Colette advocates are working on another plan to get it back on the ballot. My best friend is at her niece's birthday party, which is kind of cool. We ran into each other, so I am going to tell her bye. Hey, we're leaving. Oh, okay. Love you. Bye. There's another interview. Crum 2. We also had KXLY. This guy right here just vacuumed his armpit. <laughs> Shit you not. It was funny. So since all the local news channels wanted to interview my husband, I thought I would interview him after the rally. So, here you go. How do you think your rally went? I think it went fine. think it went fine? Were you happy with the turnout? With the turnout? Yeah. Eh, not necessarily. What about the guy you allowed to speak from the... Other party? Yeah. I think we did a good job letting... I mean, you know, it's a... We had a platform on which to speak upon, and he wished to speak his opinion. When you stand up for the Constitution, you don't just stand up for the parts that you want. You don't just pick and choose. Pick and choo yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, all the Democrats and leftists always want to paint right-leaning or conservative thinkers as right-wing extremists or whatever. Well... This group of conservatives opened up their platform to a Democratic candidate. Amen. And I don't see any of the leftist groups sticking up for conservatives' rights yeah, or doing to the free same. speech or their opinions. 
you know, Antifa does nothing but call us a bunch of bigots and Nazis and racists and a lot of other garbage. Yeah. But it was peaceful, and that was good. It was very peaceful. And the Spokane Police Department even gave you a compliment, so that was good. Yeah. All right.